Felicia, no media was allowed inside the Friday night Lincoln Day dinner at Mar-a-Lago this year, but the chairman of the Republican Party sent me pictures and is describing the event for us, which was taking place just at the same time the highly anticipated Mueller report was dropping. The sold-out dinner at Mar-a-Lago features Senator Lindsey Graham, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, as the speaker. Former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi was the MC, And President Trump dined privately with his wife and son, but then joined the dinner with the First Lady, introducing Graham and apparently everyone having a very relaxed and happy time, even with that two-year-long Mueller conclusion ready to be revealed at any moment. I think at that point, we all knew that the Mueller investigation was going to reveal that there was no collusion or obstruction. Everybody was pretty happy. The president was, uh, you could see the smile on his face. He looked relaxed. He looked at home among um, his supporters and friends, including Senator Graham and uh, Congressman Trey Gowdy. Pam Bondi was there at our table. table. It was just a lot of smiles and <laughs> a lot of fun. Michael Barnett said no one mentioned the Mueller report during the dinner, but that Senator Graham did say beforehand in a private meeting that if it turned out President Trump did collude with the Russians, he would have nothing further to do with him. Now, according to several reports, Graham is saying that Attorney General William Barr is going to testify about the four-page summary of the Mueller investigation he released Sunday night, which found no collusion or evidence of, of obstruction on the president or anyone else's part, but... He said in that report that uh, Mueller said that he could not exonerate the president, that that he would leave up to bar.